Good morning, Tippy. <laughs> I know, Ruger. I know, Talker. How are you, Dinky? How are you? How are you doing, Elsa? Good morning. I know, girls. We're working on it. We can't wait to get out to pasture. We're getting it ready. Hi, Wilkie. Hi. Maddie, why are you being so mean this morning? Daisy, you look like one of the big girls. Look at you all big. <laughs> Good morning, Lodi. Are you good today, May? She doesn't want to talk about it. That's fine. That's fine, huh, Maybelline? <laughs> oh, Ruger. Careful today, Daisy. Those big girls aren't being nice, huh? Lodi, you're considered a little big girl. And she's never nice. No, she's not. Ugh, Lodi! Goodness. And there's Lily. Wow. I might have to separate you girls today. I'm kidding. Looking good, Abilene. And you're being nice, aren't you? Mayo. All right, girls, have a good day. Well, I gotta get out of here and hope Derek didn't turn the fence on when he walked away. Good deal, didn't get zapped. You guys so there are quite a few common questions coming up um, in the comment section on our videos so we just thought we would cover some of those so first question is Derek that's that's a weird question <laughs> read the question uh, um, did you get your milk test results and are you doing 305 or LA Okay, so as far as the milk test results if you guys have been with us for about a year um, last March I put the girls, 15 of my does went on milk test and it was just a one day milk test where a tester comes out um, and weighs three samples and if they meet all the requirements, then they will earn their milk star. Uh, it's really hard to earn a milk star on a one day test and, and blah, blah, blah. Typically on the one day milk test, it takes about a month and a half to two months before it's in ADGA's record. It can be on the papers. Um, it follows through for the kids and everything else, uh, but with everything going on with ADGA this year and their website down, they have not put it in the database um, at this time. I don't even think they have the ability to because it, it, it is down. And from what I understand, it is not at the top of their list either. So I just have my fingers crossed that before these does have their babies, um, they will have it in the system. I mean, that that's just kind of what I'm really, really hoping for. Don't know if it's gonna happen. Again, they're, they're not even really talking about it or as if it's any big deal, so not sure. That is the scenario. However, when I calculated them, um, it was at 11, I wanna say it was 11 out of 15 does would have earned their milk star. Some of them being three star milkers, some four star milkers, um, and also two of our bucks would be plus B bucks. 
So that is a lot, a lot of titles that I'm just, I mean, I know you guys keep asking about it and I promise you nobody is more eager than me to get those um, on the books. We've worked really hard. These girls have worked really hard and... Plus we'd like to have their the show wins that we got last year on their records too. Yeah, exactly. Um, from that I did read recently, um, they are working on getting the show wins in the system and you know they're hoping within the next couple of months that they have all the show wins. As far as my herd, none of their wins ha have been put into the records yet. So also hoping for that. As far as LA or the three linear appraisal, um, where an appraiser will come out and breaks down your goat piece by piece, inch by inch, uh, and gives her a score. <clears throat> uh, they don't think they're going to be coming to Arizona this year, so probably not going to do that, obviously. You can, you can go ahead and put the application in, but you don't get your money back. So not this year, which is a bummer. Um, and Maybe then, we should go somewhere else. Maybe. Maybe we could work something out like that, huh? But either way, Three, here we're not. <laughs> in the 305? And then the 305, that is that is just um, the 305 day milk test where milk testers come out um, and you weigh it every month, send the information in, which is something I really, really want to do because there's so much more data that you get um, in evaluating your, your dough and their lactations, but... We couldn't do that and be somewhere else getting LA'd though, could we? No, I don't know. We could probably work it out, but um, the system, I don't know. I don't want I want ADGA to be up and working before I start any of that stuff is, is kind of the gist of it. But we we probably could still make it work if, if we were traveling and I could make it work. I could have it. <laughs> All right. Funny, the next question is, are you moving to Arkansas? Are we moving to Arkansas? Okay, guys, you are really um, wanting to know that question. So, as far as Arkansas, it, it, okay, you guys know that, that we were dealing with the drought. It was horrendous. We were scared. We're like, okay, we need somewhere for water. Um, and you killed that killer bee, Crystal. I did not. I brushed him off. He flew away. That was a gentle brush. <laughs> anyway. Um, Yes, Arkansas is beautiful. Um, we're definitely looking into places that are green, that will have water, um, because again, we're in the desert and more people are moving here, just sucking more water out, and we don't know what the outcome is gonna be. I love Arizona, especially when it rains and the goats have brows and love the weather. Um, but uh, as far as Arkansas, like that wasn't something we were like, we're moving tomorrow or anything like that. I yeah, there's just the, you know, so the small, many things to factor in. The small issue of a couple hundred thousand dollars short on just picking up and moving. <laughs> so yeah, today we're not moving to Arkansas, but maybe three years from now, who knows? We're definitely, it's, it's not something we've scratched off the board, never gonna happen. So that's the answer to that. Not today. Next question, how can I buy your soap? There's a description in every video, you guys. Just click that description button, has an arrow pointing down. Show more. Show more, it's going to open up. We have links in there, and our Etsy shop is one of the links. So you're gonna click it's on the that. the top one. It's the top one. You click on that link, and it'll take you right to our shop. And you can scroll through the soaps, pick out the ones you like, add them to your cart, make sure you put your correct address in there. Double check addresses, guys. Double check your address, pay for it, and we'll ship it out to you within a day or two. I fix a lot of addresses. I'm the one that prints off the orders, and I, I fix a lot of your addresses. I, it's amazing to me how many of you don't know where you live. Yes, and then check your messages too because sometimes we'll get them sent back. Um, yeah, we still have somebody on, a, I think it's something garbage like lane? Garbage Lane in New York State. You live on Garbage Lane. Oh, that was that Wildy. Was Wildy. Good. Got her. Good. Last night she uh, she jumped through the wire and because like right when we, we turned it off to open the gate it's like she understands what off means yes so that's good that that got her but you got a little zappy but yeah we got your your soap if you live on garbage lane in new york state check your emails we've had it for like two months we'd love to get right. it to you next question donde esta el pollos okay where are the chickens well it's people want to know if we still have pigs chickens and ducks okay the answer is no. We do not have pigs, chickens, or ducks anymore. Um, we only have Ain't goats. no pigs on this farm. He just like interrupts constantly. 
But anyway, um, again, no, we do not have any of them. We did, we did get, we sold all of the pigs, um, and we harvested or got rid of um, some, all of the ducks and chickens. So we literally have no poultry, no pigs. The only thing we have, uh, livestock-wise, is our goaty goaties, um, and we're we're happy with that. Um, and of course, we have the cats and and, and our dogs, but that's it. Yeah, we want to do more of what works and less of what doesn't and we just felt like we weren't getting the, the the return on the investment of the time involved in the chickens and the ducks and the pigs and everything was just just not uh not working for us so you, i'm turning it off yeah the light had to come on before i could see the arrow and then like last year with the delivering of the goats um, I leave so much of that stuff for other people and, and the, the ducks and chickens and gardens is kind of my thing and, and I don't want to leave all that work to the rest of the family this year and, uh, and by not having those things we can, we, we're just overextended. We could provide more attention to our goats and to our kids and, and just kind of focus on what matters more to us at the time and yeah, uh-huh. And we're happy with that. Plus, yeah. if we do it that way, there's a there's a really good chance that Crystal might be there when I deliver goats this year. So that would be cool. Right. Next question: How do I get on your waiting list? We actually do not have a waiting list, um, so there's nothing to get on, and it is first come first serve once we list the kids for sale. Um, so, however, this year we aren't going to list them for sale until they're at least two weeks old. So, just be patient. If you guys are interested in in, in one of the goats, um, then just just ask you to be patient and keep watching because we will definitely let you know when we will do that. Next question is Maybelline and her limp. Maybelline and her limp. Um, she's fine, um, honestly. She still limps, so we know that she just got rammed or something along the way. Um, she well, didn't. We think she got rammed or possibly got her leg stuck in a pallet yeah. um, from one of the old structures. But when we had a vet come out, they did x rays, they, uh, you know, move. you can move her leg all around. There's nothing in her paw. There's nothing, you guys. Nothing, nothing. Like nothing. It's a hoof. Well, her pad of her hoof then. Anyway, there's nothing wrong with this goat. Like, you can touch her, move her all around. She just limps and won't stand on it sometimes. Some days she looks great, like it doesn't bother her. You know, you'll see her out in the field, head button, and, you know, I don't know. She's really strong and she's fine. The only thing I can say about it is it's just a real shame for the show ring. Because she's a gorgeous goat. She's got amazing genetics. And... Yeah, some people you know have wondered is it genetic but it's not genetic and we know it's not genetic because her mom lives here her mom's mom lives here her mom's 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 used to live here her dad lives here her dad's dad's lives here we know all her genetics so it's not a genetic trait she is getting better and we're hoping it, it just eventually she'll get better but it's not genetic yeah all right next question how do you have milk to make soap if none of your goats are in milk Great question. Um, so before we dried all of our does off the last year, we made sure we okay. We got two deep freezes that are completely that were completely full. Um, we have two fridges, so both of those freezers were completely full with our goat's milk. Um, so we had a ton. We only have a couple weeks worth left from our girls. We do have weeks of soap to sell, of course, that is made with our girls still, um, but. In anticipation for this, we knew this was gonna happen, which is why we now stagger breeding so it doesn't ever happen again. Um, but, you know, reaching out to friends in the goat club and, and getting milk from them where I can. And also, um, over the break, I went up to Danelle from my friend Danelle uh, with Weedem and Reeb. She had saved me about 10 gallons of her milk. So we got some freezers uh, getting full again. So getting excited about that so that we can keep it coming. Um, but yeah, so that's also a little exciting that we'll be making soap from uh, some other famous goaties from, from Weedem and Reap. Okay, so the last question is, do you grow your own aloe? Uh, the answer to that is yes, but... We just started. <laughs> we just started. So um, I did harvest some from my aunt, and that was the first big batch that went out. And then it's kind of like, 
I took some more from her place and we planted it, but it needs to get established um, here in our yard before it's gonna take off and we can just start using and harvesting our own aloe from our garden. I did run into some aloe at the grocery store though, so I was very excited about that. So right now that is what we're using um, to make our soap. She bought all of it. I bought all of it. And every time they, every time they put it back on the shelf, I'm like, all of it. And they're huge, so. So yeah, that way we can continue to, to offer aloe soap because it's, it's very popular and it's a great soap. Speaking of soap, let's get in the house and see what's going on in the soap shop. that Alexa and Oscar are actually back here working again. Uh, we got Alexa, looks like she's taking pictures for the shop. That looks cute. Oh, thanks. We'll see how they turn out. Cheese. Are you helping? You help me take are pictures Are you helping Mama? Okay, she's really wanting <laughs> <laughs> Silly girl. It's a video. Cheese. Cheese. You say hi, soaps. I do. Right. Tell them about this one. Good. Oh, good. <laughs> it's good. She is a fan of the soaps, which is pretty cool because she's an up and coming soap maker. I just know it. All right, let's go see what Oscar's doing. No one's supposed to see that milk machine, huh? We got another one coming. It's out of the bag. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and Oscar here is prettying up our soap, so he has got all these cut for today, and he's just he, cutting the edges. Yeah, he peels so they the look edges real there, nice. makes them look pretty. Yeah. You gonna show us how you do one, Oscar? Sure. What are you doing? Are you helping Daddy now? Yeah. Is that how much Dad paid for that haircut? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> He just bevels the edge there and it makes them look nice. It just adds a little to it. Awesome. Look at this soap here. Alexa designed this. This is her creation here. What are you calling this, honey? Uh, I was thinking to call it pink oats. Pink oats. So it has oatmeal in it. And then on the top, it's just super cool. Look. And then you can see it over here. Yeah, that is neat. That is gorgeous. You nailed that one, Lex. Soap, beast, soap, beast. Soap, soap. Okay, so while well, Iris okay. and Oscar finish cutting that, I have to unmold the soaps that we made with you guys. So we have to unmold our two um, aloe soaps that we made and then the clay bar. Um, and when I did try to pull the side off of this one, it was a little sticky. So. What I did was just throw them in the freezer for a half hour and it just gets them real hard so, so you're good to go. So, let's get them unmolded. Oop. Awesome. These molds are very firm, sturdy molds, and they can be a little bit hard to get off the edges here. Oh, there we go. So I try to be careful because. 
and mess it up. It did get it just a little, so just good thing these are the butts and we just pull them off for samples anyway. Or the family uses them. Nice. So those two look good. Let's check out the clay bars. being stubborn, huh? It is. That's okay. There we go. All right. So, it got hard on me. I'm going to blame it on filming, but I wasn't able to push it down just as much, but that's not going to affect the soap or the quality or anything, and it'll just be on each bar. It'll just be a tiny piece on the side, so this one's even worse. But Again, once it cuts open, it's going to be, it won't be there. And my white just got really hard on me really fast. And you were blaming that on? Well, I was trying to film and paying less attention to the soap. So that's what I'm blaming it on. Not to mention this guy was on the other side of me. And it's a lot of things going on. Soap needs your attention, so. All right, you guys. So these soaps have to sit for another day just to let them harden up a little bit more and then we will cut those with you tomorrow. So on another note, I just wanted to say, again, we get a lot of common questions. So if you guys had a question um, and you want it addressed, then let us know, put it in the comments and we'll get to it in a later video. Other than that, thank you guys so much for watching and we will see you tomorrow. Oh. Stay away. Where's Ray? Where's it? Yeah, we're good. We're good. Get with it. Go. Yep. Yeah.